Hey everyone, so this is just going to be a quick video to show how to correct a situation where you may have created something in the wrong spot and you want to move it. So we sketched this chalice uh, type shape like the bowl on top and did a revolve. Um, we created this sketch right here and we thought, oh great, it's going to sit on top of this peg. But then when we rotated it, we orbited around our object, we realized, uh-oh, it's not lined up. So we need to move this so it's on a plane that's like right in the middle of this uh, this cylinder shape. So I'm going to just show how to do that. So step one is to create a plane that slices the cylinder right down the middle. And step two is to actually move this orange sketch here onto that new plane. So I'm going to show how to do that. So um, we can create new planes up here. Uh, before we do that, we have to roll back time. There's this little rollback bar. We have to make sure that this plane existed before we created that sketch. So I'm just going to go and drag this to before sketch three. So before the sketch three and the revolve. So now it's almost like we've gone back in time. If we kept going back, we would go back before we even made that cylinder out of the circle. If we keep going back, we go back even further. But I just want to go back before I made the... Um, the, the bowl part for the top of the like cup chalice shape. Now, I'm just gonna go up here, I'm gonna use this plane tool that I pointed out before, and I am going to uh, choose from the options here, the type of plane, I'm gonna choose line angle. What this means is there's actually like a secret line that we can't see, but it goes down through the center of every single cylinder in Onshape, and Onshape knows about it, but we can't see it, but we just have to know it's there. And so if I click on this cylinder, Onshape is gonna say, oh, you want me to put a uh, plane that goes right through the line that goes down the center of that cylinder, and you want me to pick an angle that it's gonna be at. So what I can do, watch this number, is say I drag this, it's gonna rotate that plane. Well, if I look at this from zero, I really just need to rotate it 90 degrees. So I'm just gonna type 90 in there. And now that plane is lined up with that that front plane that we made the sketch on, but now this one is definitely slicing right down the middle of that cylinder. So this is what we want, okay? I realized my mouse clicks weren't on here, so let's turn those on to make it easier. Okay, so I'm gonna click this green check mark. So I've made my plane now. Now I just need to move my sketch. So I'm gonna roll time back to the present here and go all the way back to the end so I can see my sketch and my revolve again. And I'm going to go to this sketch if I double click this sketch, remember when I picked the plane, when you picked the plane when you made this, okay? If I wanna change that plane, I totally can and it's just gonna move the sketch onto a new plane. So I'm gonna click the X to get rid of the front plane. It's gonna be like, hey, pick a plane. Well, look at this, because I made that plane before I did the sketch, because I used that rollback bar, now I can pick plane one and look at that it's moving my sketch right onto it. I'll click the check mark. And when I click the check mark, everything else updates. Let me just reset my view, right click isometric. Now I've got this beautiful chalice shape right on top of this object. So this is how you can move something uh, if it is not in the right spot. You can use either of those pieces, the moving the sketch or creating the plane independently too. They don't have to go together. Um, so if you need a plane that goes in the middle of something, you don't have to move it later if you just make the plane first, okay? Um, but if you need to move something even from like the front plane to the right plane or anything like that, you can. So that is uh, this video and I hope that helps you.